all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Yeah, I know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, it's about damn time, man. And Dan Quinn should have been fired two weeks ago. Being all the way, no, 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 no. He should have been fired after the, the, the Cowboy game damn two weeks ago. He should have been fired after the Cowboy game. <clears throat> I don't understand what it took. I really don't understand what took Arthur Blank so long. To be honest with you, he probably should have been fired after last season just because he finished. And you know, like last season, Dan Quinn, he pulled a Tom Coughlin. Remember when Tom Coughlin was in New York? He would always win like five of his last like seven games and keep his job. That's pretty much what Arthur Blank did. He he pulled a Tom Coughlin. He won like five of his last seven games and he kept his job. And Arthur Blank, to his credit, said, we're not doing that this year. I'm not going to let the schedule get easier. And then you mess around with a couple. Games. No, we're not doing that. And here's the thing, right? What you have to understand, too. You know what really got Dan Quinn fired? And I don't know if anybody's speaking on this because I don't know if you heard, but LeBron James just won a fourth championship, his third championship on a different team. And he's the GOAT and he's guys get the basketball. And I've been more concerned with LeBron, so I haven't been able to watch ESPN and none of this, none of the talking heads. But one of the things that I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna talk about is Matt Ryan, he pulled in Aaron Rodgers. You notice that, right? Matt Ryan pulled at Aaron Rodgers. What did Aaron Rodgers do when he wanted Mike McCarthy fired? What did he do? He didn't play hard. Listen, Aaron, I'm sure one day I'm gonna blow up. One day Big Fist is gonna be big, and some of these some of these disrespectful videos are gonna be shown to, to the masses of people. Guess what? Aaron Rodgers and his heart of hearts know good and damn well. In 2018, he went out his way to get McCarthy fired. He wanted to make it abundantly clear that he was not happy and didn't want to play for him and he wanted him out. Do y'all really think Matt Ryan has tried the past couple weeks? Matt Ryan ain't tried since they blown that lead to Chicago. Matt Ryan did not try versus Green Bay. He did not try versus um, Carolina yesterday. He didn't try. It's th that, was the, that was the telltale sign that Quinn is getting fired. That's the telltale sign. Once Matt Ryan stopped giving a damn, once your, once your franchise quarterback says, I've had enough, the, court, the coach normally gets fired. That's what gets a coach fired. Once the quarterback says, okay, well, I'm, I'm done, I'm fed up, you get fired. Deshaun Watson in Houston, did it live? Where, where was this game to Brandon Cooks and all this other stuff? Where was this Deshaun Watson game last week and the week before that? Deshaun Watson didn't play, want to play for Bill O'Brien, bro. Deshaun Watson ain't wanted to play for Bill O'Brien since he traded DeAndre Hopkins. Come on, man. Yeah, this is how this goes. When your quarterback says, I've had enough, that normally means your coach is getting up out of here. Once the quarterback says, I can't do this no more, and the quarterback stops giving A-plus effort, that's normally, a, that's normally a telltale sign to the owner that this coach got to go. You feel me? So it's like, I don't, I'm happy for the Falcons, man. I'm actually happy for the Falcons because it's time they rebuild. It's time they hit the reset button. It's time. It's been a long time coming. <clears throat> and my thing is this, when it comes to the Falcons, this, this is a blessing. You know why this is a blessing? Because nothing worse, no, there's nothing worse than being a middle of the road team. Nothing's worse than being a franchise that's just dying to make the playoffs because they're good enough to make a run, but they're not good enough to be dominant. What I mean is, anytime you're an eight to ten win team and you and you have Super Bowl aspirations, you're in the worst possible possible scenario. It's better you either want to be a, a ten plus win team or you want to be a two win team. Either I'm guaranteed 10 wins or I just want to win two wins. You don't want to be in that seven to maybe 10 win range. 
What I mean is you can win seven games or you can win 10 games. You don't want to be in that range. What you want to be is the 10 plus club. You want to be the Green Bay, the New England. You want to be somewhere where it's like, okay, my floor is 10. You want to be the New Orleans Saints. My floor is 10. But if we if we if we get a couple breaks, we can get home field. That's where you want to be. You want to be my floor is 10. We're gonna win the division, but can I get a first round bye? That's where you want to be. If you can't say my floor is 10, but if we play our asses off, we get a first round bye, damn it, you might as well be tanking for trouble. News flash. You might as well be trying to get a top five pick. Nobody wants to be a middle of the road team who's gonna win like seven games, but they're not gonna get the 10 wins. They might get a wild card spot and get bounced in the first round. Nobody wants to be a middle of the road team. That's like being in the NBA. That's like being in the NBA and you like a fifth seed. What the hell are you gonna do if you're a fifth or sixth seed? You ain't going nowhere in the NBA if you're a fifth or sixth seed. Do not let the Miami Heat fool you. The Miami Heat only got to the finals because of the bubble. If it weren't for the bubble, if that Miami Heat team had to travel on the road, remember how bad Miami, the Miami Heat's road record was in the regular season? It, yeah, they were just like the damn 76ers. The Miami Heat couldn't win on the road. But because of the bubble, the Miami Heat didn't have to travel on the road. So they actually had an opportunity to go to a final. But I'm trying, you really think they would have beat Boston in a game seven? If you really think the Miami Heat would have beat Boston in a, in, a, in a game seven in Boston, you really think they would have went to Milwaukee and won all those games in Milwaukee? Like, come on, man. Keep it a buck 50 here. <laughs> keep it a buck 50. The Heat are a bubble finals team. Let's keep it a buck 50. So what I'm trying to say is, outside of the Miami Heat, four fifth, fifth seeds don't normally go to the finals. In the NFL, seven and eight win teams, unless you're Eli Manning, don't normally go on Super Bowl runs. So what I'm trying to say is, people, the Falcons are in a better place now because now the Falcons are a two-win team. Now the Falcons are a two to three win team. They're going to get a high draft pick. They're going to get a brand new GM and a brand new head coach, and they're going to start from scratch. And the Falcons are going to try and build themselves up to a 10 win, hopefully get a first round by team. That's what the Falcons are going to try and do. Now it's going to take a couple years. I can promise you that. It's definitely going to take a couple years because Matt Ryan's out of there. They're getting rid of Matt Ryan. They're getting rid of Julio. Julio and Matt Ryan, they up out of there. Calvin Ridley, Hayden Hurst, that's fine. Ty Gurley, up out of there. Julio, up out of there. Matt Ryan, up out of there. It'll be a brand new Falcon team next year. I can promise you that. It's going to be a brand new Falcon team next year. But anyway, oh, and by the way, how many games do you really think Julio going to play for y'all? Julio or hamstring hurt? You really think Julio going to want to play for y'all? How many games you think Julio gonna want to play for 0-5 team? Stop it. But that's it. That's all, man. And you know what? I managed to go a whole Falcon video, and I didn't bring up the Super Bowl one time. Shout out to Big Fisk. But that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fisk Vegas, and I approve this message.